What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys a list of the top 5 locusts that we've never played as in Gears of War multiplayer. The idea behind this list is to shed some light on a few of the locusts we have seen appear in Gears of War games, but we just haven't seen a version of them for us to take control of in versus multiplayer. Coming in at number 5, we have the Bolter, who first made his appearance in Gears of War 2. Most people will recognize him from the original Horde mode, as the Locust that dashed around the map hip-firing his Boltok as a sort of a pest. But if you take a look at him, he's actually one of the best designed looking Locust drones in the entire franchise, and it is a huge surprise to me that we never saw him appear in Gears of War 3, or any of the current Gears of War titles. I think his amazing looking helmet and shoulder pads make him look very unique amongst the rest of the the Locust Horde. At number 4 on the list we have the Palace Guard, who like the Bolter made their first appearance in Gears of War 2 and were first seen during Operation Hollow Storm when Delta 1 were able to breach the defenses of Nexus. They are usually seen protecting Queen Mira or at least within close proximity of her. But besides their role in the campaign they are obviously a relation to the Theron Guard and are of higher rank in the Locust Army. Their armor just looks so badass with their spiked shoulder pads and epic looking helmet. I think these would become one of the most used Theron Guards in Gears multiplayer if they were introduced, and I'm quite surprised that we've never had the opportunity to play as them. At number 3 we have the Lambent Drone. The idea of Lambency was first introduced in the original Gears of War with exploding wretches that were found hanging around emulsion factories and it then became more prominent throughout the franchise until Gears of War 3 where we really got to see how it was affecting the rest of the Locust Horde. It had fully transformed their appearance into this glowing and burnt looking husk and it was absolutely terrifying. Since they were such a huge part of the Gears of War 3 story, I was surprised that they were never introduced into multiplayer. With their yellow glow and intimidating features, I could see them easily becoming a fan favorite amongst Gears players online. At number 2 we have the Armored Cantus, which I thought was going to be an obvious choice for some kind of DLC character in Gears of War 3. The Armored Cantus were an elite armored class of Cantus Priest, which in the campaign were sort of like Queen Mira's special forces. He was a larger sized character in the campaign, just like the regular Cantus in fact, so I was once again surprised that we did not see a versus multiplayer version of the character in Gears of War 3. I could easily see him being one of the most used characters online if we ever had the chance to use him. And finally, coming in at the number one spot on the list, we have General Karn, who you may remember as the big bad of the Gears of War Judgment campaign. And this is where another downside to Gears of War Judgment not having Locus in multiplayer came in. This was the first time in the series where we had a general or boss type character that was not playable in versus multiplayer, and that was definitely a huge missed opportunity. I think it would only be right that we get to see Karn introduced into multiplayer at some point in time, as he did feel like a huge threat in the Gears of War Judgment campaign and he would no doubt feel incredibly badass to play as. And that's it for the list, I hope you all enjoyed it. Is there any locus you think I may have left out? And do you agree that these locus should be brought into Gears of War 4 multiplayer or any future Gears of War game? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanted to make this list to perhaps maybe put the idea out there that we don't only need to see locus characters that we've already played as, and that there's an opportunity to give us something new and exciting with the faction that we all know and love. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.